Today we're going to talk about smart switches versus smart bulbs and which ones you might want to choose for which type of applications. So when you're planning your smart home out, really important to think about which rooms are going to need which type of lighting. If you're needing certain color tones in a certain room, then you really have no choice but going with a smart light bulb, either of a downlight or a lamp type of configuration. However, it can get really expensive if you're having to replace four, eight, or even say 12 or more of these in a living room. So a smart switch is often a very clever way of doing it. The other issue is that if I put smart light bulbs in and someone switches them off at the switch, they are then totally inactive. So when it comes to smart switches, you've got a couple of options. You've got something like this. This is an Atom device. This is a four gang light switch. Beauty of this one is it communicates via Wi-Fi and it's using um, it, these ones are flashed with either ESP Home or with Tasmota. So they're really good. They work locally and they're really cost effective as well. I'll leave some link in the description below. There's lots of other types of smart switches as well that you can buy like this. You need to think first of all, does your home have a neutral wire? in the wall where you're gonna be replacing the switch because if it doesn't have a neutral wire, you will need to get a switch that is compatible with non-neutral wires. The other thing to consider is what sort of communication you're wanting to use. Are you gonna use Wi-Fi? Are you gonna use Zigbee or Z-Wave? Or some other type of communication method. Um, the other thing is that we also have an option to put something in behind the switch. So you might have a switch like this and you can then put something like a Shelly One behind that switch instead of replacing the whole switch. Now this is often a good option if you've got a single switch. If you've got a four gang switch, it's often a lot easier to replace the whole switch. Now, the thing about these Shelly's is they are local control, which I really like because I don't want my smart home having to go via the cloud and then having all sorts of issues disconnecting. The other thing to consider when it comes to lights is do you want dimming ability? Now the Shelly one doesn't offer dimming but the Shelly dimmer does offer dimming. So provided the LEDs that you've selected in your ceiling are dimmable LEDs because not all of them are, you will be able to dim them using a single Shelly. Now I'll leave links again in the description below. Now if you decide you want to use a lamp, you can easily buy one of these lamp type bulbs. Um, I like to go with the Zigbee bulbs. I find these to be really good from a connectivity perspective. Um, I've got the Home Assistant Yellow, so that's got the Zigbee radio built in, or you can easily buy one of those Sonoff dongles. But these work really well in lamps. They give good colors, really cost effective. Um, I've got a Hue one here but I bought a really cheap one as well off AliExpress and the Zigbee worked really well. I'm trying to stay away from the Tuya based ones because I find that using Tuya local is a real pain. Now at work, I am doing an interesting project. I am replacing, well not replacing, leaving the switches there and putting in 35 of these Shelly ones. Now that's gonna be very interesting because we're going to see is there going to be an issue with the Wi-Fi dealing with so many smart switches on one network? We may need to do something like MQQT for the uh, communication protocol. So once I've done that project, I'll give you some feedback of how that's gone. Anyway, that's all for now. I hope I've given you some ideas. Please feel free, join me again next week for another video. Bye for now.